This is a J Mix exclusive. Mm -hmm. A multi-state drug ring with ties to multiple gangs and a Mexican cartel busted up in Memphis. We're talking about 22 people were indicted this morning. The charges, and there are plenty of them, include drugs and money laundering. Police confiscated more than 46 pounds of drugs. We have also learned the bus netted members of both the Grape Street Crips and the Pedrol Mafia gangs. Fox 13's chief investigative reporter Jim Spiewak live downtown. And Jim, this investigation just didn't happen overnight. It certainly did not. This has been going on since at least 2014. We learned here in the federal building behind me a little earlier today. Fast forward to today, we now know 22 people have been indicted. 16 of those people we know live right here in the Mid South. Federal prosecutors are accusing 22 gang members of shipping money through the mail from Memphis 1,800 miles away to Los Angeles, California. Prosecutors go on to allege meth, heroin, cocaine, pills, and pot were all sent back to be sold here. It's a case acting U.S. Attorney Larry Lorenzi calls unusual. The drugs that were um, sent to Memphis was... Um, a smorgasbord of drugs. Investigators say 17 of the people are members of the Memphis Peter Roll Mafia, a local street gang that sells several kinds of drugs. The investigation started years ago when police found out gangs were selling drugs around the Bella Vista apartments. The investigation picked off at least one top level OG. It has stopped the pipeline um, where drugs freely flowed uh, between California uh, and Memphis. Also indicted was Eric Avendado, who investigators say is connected to a Mexican cartel, but would not say which one. They are using a variety of, of ways to move the drugs into Memphis. I asked Lorenzi if an informant was used to help crack the years-long case. We can't speak to the, to the actual facts of, of the case or the actual techniques that, that were used to investigate it. Good more. question, though. What Lorenzi did say is that an alleged dangerous drug pipeline here in Memphis is now busted up. And five of those people named in the indictment we found out live in California. And an interesting takeaway on Monday of this week, I reported on an indictment, a federal indictment, where drugs were allegedly sent between Memphis and California. I asked investigators if these two cases are related. They told me they are not. I'm reporting live downtown tonight, Jim Spiewak, Fox 13 News. This is a J Mix exclusive. What up, Rashad?